Recently, cashless store technology has become more and more popular. But there is no universal cashless store technology. In this video, I will try to show you uh, which computer vision algorithms use in different approaches. At start, let's create the definition of a cashless store. And there are two of them. First one. The store doesn't have a physical payment procedure. Money is automatically debited from your card after you leave the store. For example, on the left is store with such procedure. The second one. There are no sellers in the store. People themselves make the payment procedure on some automated terminal, online or physical one. Uh, on the right you can see such terminal. Personally, I don't consider second one stores to be full fledged automated stores, but we will speak about them anyway. And when we speak about algorithms, we need to define two big groups of algorithms. First one, when logic implemented by cameras and scales that mounted on the shelves. And the second one, when logic implemented only by cameras. Okay, cameras and scales. In my opinion, the most accurate system, but the most expensive to operate and maintain. Uh, I think the most common system uh, consists of several algorithmic components. Human tracking. Usually people use selling mounted cameras. Here is small example how it works. And here is few examples how selling cameras usually located. Scales. Each item type located on the scales. When the weight changes, take or return event are created. Some systems have pickup detector by video. So, for the stores that use cameras and scales, the general logic will look like this. A person enters the store, his unique track is created, uh, each take and return event is tied to the nearest track, or if we have a pickup detector uh, algorithm to the track where the item capture happens. The largest chain of stores using this technology is Family Mart from Japan. They call it unmanned stores. By 2024 they promised to open 1000 of these stores. But even now there are many of them. In these stores you can see a lot of scales on the shelves and a lot of cameras on the selling. The second significant player is zipping. If I understand correctly, they selling white labeled franchise and have many stores all over the world. In one of them, located in Moscow, I was a few years ago. Also in Moscow, on a nearby street, you can find a system developed by Neurus. It's use a similar combination of cameras and scales. Also, I saw a presentation of a system that used side mounted cameras and scales. The system was called Zabra, but I am not sure that the system went into production. Now let's take a minute and talk about pros and cons of such system. Pros. All algorithmic components of the system are simple and quickly developed. The final algorithm is simple and ambiguous. The most accurate system. 
you are 100 percent sure how many uh, item the person took from the shelf and return back cons each scale is a separate model let's say you have 500 product in your store this means 500 scales and many models where the scale will be connected. Such a system would be expensive and have many points of failure. Scales do not work well with very light and very heavy object. Where does the system have algorithmic problems? I know only two of them. The first problem is very simple. An attacker can replace a product with an object of the same weight. The second problem I drew schematically. When two buyers take goods from neighboring places, the system may link goods incorrectly. Let's talk about the second approach, when the stores use only cameras. There are many systems in the world that implement this approach or try to claim that they do. Perhaps part of the system that I will mention the white label of other systems, but there is too little information about real creators. Let's start from the most famous, famous Amazon Go. Amazon start building the system back in 2018. I think they were first full-size unmanned store. Uh, they use a lot of 3D cameras, uh, not on the screen that the cameras are not parallel to the ceiling, but uh, look to the sides. And this point is comple completely different from uh, previous systems that use scalars and cameras. The next big vendor is iFi. Today they have dozens of stores around the world. They have partnership with LD, Carrefour and other major chains. Uh, judging by the images from different stores, uh, iFi supplies its own cameras and algorithm. iFi uses quite interesting cameras. They definitely produce uh, some stereo image, but I can't say for sure the, if they're a regular stereo par or an, some uh, active depth camera like Time of Flight. Let's take a closer look at the standard AI system. Since they show many frames of the real operation of the system on which the operation algorithms are uh, visible. They have one significant difference. They use only 2D cameras from which they estimate the 3D position of people. It's pretty hard task. They need high precision synchronization of cameras located at different points. Inside the system, they create a virtual store with 3D skeletons. As you can see, the skeletons are not ideal and uh, positioning of points are shaking, I think, about 10 or 15 centimeters. Also in the videos, standard AIs show that they use algorithms for analyzing the fullness of the shelves. The cameras are positioned so that you can clearly see the goods on the shelves. I assume that they can calculate the amount of item in each position. And let me explain why this is important. Did you see how much item I just took from the shelf? I assume no. And this is the main problem of such algorithm. 
uh, you need camera that look on the shelf and calculating amount of items that is left. So you either mount scalars in the shelf, either you mount camera that looking on, on it. Okay, let's quickly wrap up pros and cons. First, uh, we need only cameras, no scales need. So system is much easier to install. Uh, second, uh, we can make some ca reservation. For example, when one or two camera are dead, uh, we doesn't need to fix them immediately. Uh, the system just will continue work. Cons, uh, the high cost of developing. System is much more complex, so we need to spend more time and resources on research and development. Uh, second, uh, we need to synchronize cameras. It's of course it, this task is solvable, but it's pretty hard task. Third, uh, the system is easier to cheat. I don't think that it's a big problem, but in some cases that can create problems. And uh, the last class of automated stores are those where the store is built on trust. The image here describes them the best. Uh, there are many such stores. In some there are operators who monitor buyers. Somewhere there are algorithms that check that person approaches the payment point before uh, leaving the store and uh, some algorithms simply, simply allow you to search for thieves in history. Uh, for such stores there are no established rules on operation and general algorithms. Uh, here are some examples of such stores. This one is located in Moscow and I didn't find any system to prevent leave uh, the store without payment. And here you can see Bingo Box, a shop from China. Customers scan products manually, but there are algorithms to notify the operator in case of unusual activity. In this video I didn't include smart refrigerator and robot stores. Uh, they also use computer vision, but less frequently. And uh, let me make some final summary. First, uh, many stores uh, in advertising show impossible features that obviously don't work in practice, like passing goods from one person to another, recognition of goods in hand, and something like this. Uh, some stores in the advertising do not show K feature. Uh, like for, for example, some stores didn't show that they use scales, uh, but uh, on practice you can see that they use them. Uh, many algorithms do not have 100% accuracy and uh, some, el some vendors didn't say the uh, real accuracy metrics for their stores. And that's all. If you have any question, ask them in comments or write me to email. Uh, also, we provide consultation and development of custom computer vision algorithm. And bye.